All right, and welcome back. Uh, today, we've got a whole new thing. I thought to myself, hey, I'm in the shop sometimes doing stuff, and maybe uh, it'd be cool to live stream some stuff. Perhaps. And I went through a whole bunch of stuff. Can I use my GoPros to do it? Sure, but you need this extra dongle, and it's 100 bucks to get HDMI into the computer. All these other ways of doing things. Uh, so today, what are we doing? We're going to install a Raspberry Pi camera on top of the Raspberry Pi. As you can see, I've already got it attached. I'm sure we're all beyond the point of needing a tutorial to install this ribbon cable. Um, it goes in this slot right here. I have it gaffer taped up so it stays fairly, uh, you know, stable while I'm testing. And I just have it in this little clamp right now holding it up um, so it's not sitting down on the table. I have an HDMI cable plugged in for a monitor, so I actually have that running into my um, monitor for my camera down here, but this is just for testing. You can see I got the YouTube Live page up there. Today is February 12th, and I have just installed the latest noobs and Raspbian and all that in here yesterday. So we're not going to go and do all that today. We're just going to show you how to get this thing live streaming to YouTube with a $26 camera and a Raspberry Pi. So, without further ado, here's what I did. All right, so I have this little cheat sheet of notes here. Um, I have this part here to record a video. What we're gonna do is test to make sure the camera works before we get all into this. So what I have is this piece of code. I will copy paste this in that I have. I had to vertically flip and horizontally flip the video. It creates this video 264 and it's gonna record for 10 seconds. So I have this, I'm gonna copy it over. I'm on my laptop now, I'm gonna SSH into my Raspberry Pi, which you can see is the same as the monitor over there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and then go to edit and then paste that into there and then hit enter. And then as you can see, it is recording, hello, recording a video. It's not gonna show you that on the SSH because you have, there you go. It recorded a 10 second video and it saved it. So we're good, the camera works and everything is good, right? All right, so once we've verified that the camera is working on the Raspberry Pi, I'm gonna come, in, come into this uh, horrific new YouTube control room thing here. It's This is awful, but we're gonna use it. Uh, hit stream now, skip. Oh my God, look at this, it's awful. Go to live control room. I thought that's just where I was, but apparently not. Once you can get to this point, we are in the live dashboard. We're gonna take this live stream piece of code that I have here, copy. I am going to put this over here. I have a terminal window. I'm going to paste that code in. Edit. Paste. And then I'm going to copy this uh, stream key reveal. I'm going to hit copy. Come back over to the terminal. And then we're going to edit and we're going to paste that in. Then we're going to hit enter. Now, this is live streaming. It is verified on my monitor up there. I can see the little carpet swatches in the background. Coming back here, this seems to be working. Okay, so now that that's working, this technically says live, and here we are. It is streaming to YouTube, and that's all you need to do. So once this is all set, take this link, copy it, create a new tab, paste it in there, and this is the link. Now, if you look at this, it should be a live stream of my hand waving. Hello. There we go. Now it's working. So we have a live stream to YouTube using a Raspberry Pi. And the things you needed to fix were that code. On this code here, there's a spot I changed. It says FFMPEG. That used to say something else, and it was incorrect, so I changed it. It said AVCONV, I believe. AVCONV, or something of that nature. But you change this FFmpeg, and then you can go ahead and paste your secret key at the end of this code. So, Raspberry Pi, open the terminal, paste this piece of code in there, add your secret code that YouTube gives you at the end of it, hit go, come back into the menu, and you should be live streaming to YouTube. And to quit your stream, if you come back to your terminal here to stop this from happening, what you want to do is hit control C and then it kills everything and you're back to your desktop on the uh, HDMI you're back to what it was and everything seems to be happy 
And that's what you do. So if this video was at all helpful, please go ahead and click the thumbs up button. Uh, if you have any questions or comments or something else that I missed, feel free to leave some uh, details in the comments down below. And um, tune in. I have some new videos coming up where I'm probably going to be live streaming from the shop. I have some paintings I want to work on and some new artsy stuff. So uh, stay tuned for that. But uh, I appreciate you watching. Thank you, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>